stage. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Costello, please. Chair, I congratulate the rapporteur on this report. As the rapporteur has noted, sadly in the 21st century, women still do not have the same opportunities in life as men, earning on average 17% less than their male counterparts. As a result, they are often less well prepared for old age. The incidence of debilitating diseases is also much higher in older women than in men of the same age, despite their greater longevity. The protection of women as they age must form part of a wider European strategy on ageing. In September 2011, Dublin hosted the first international conference on building age-friendly cities, from which the Dublin Declaration was launched. This declaration uh, calls for new thinking and practice on promoting the quality of life and well-being, valuing the contribution of older people uh, and removing the barriers which limit or inhibit their choice and ability to live life to the full. The declaration also reiterates the World Health Organization recommendation on the need to recognize gender aspects of aging and develop solutions to meeting the varying needs of women as they age. I also welcome the fact that the rapporteur took into account the psychological issues of women, particularly many uh, older women live alone. I support the report and look forward to action in this area as part of the legacy of the 2012 European Year of Active, uh, European Year of Active Aging. Thank you very much. Mrs. Dodds. President. Um, Mr. President, the United Nations has called the current global ageing trend a situation without parallel in the history of humanity. The world is getting older. In my constituency of Northern Ireland, there are more people.